Hey guys, uh, I'm Jason White. This is Jason's Weird Reads. Thanks for tuning in. This is my January uh, book haul. Um, if you're new here, please uh, hit the subscribe and uh, like, and don't don't forget to comment, especially if you've read any of these books. Uh, stay tuned for uh, my January uh, wrap up, which will be coming up soon after this one. Um, so this month, at the beginning of the month. Uh, I can't. I, I've been seeing this book around BookTube for a while. A lot of people are talking about uh, this book, and uh, so I wanted to check it out. I uh, used my Audible credit and got the the audio version, and that's uh, Scythe by Neil Schusterman. And you know what? I fell in love with this book right away. It. Uh, deals with some dark subject matter I'm going to talk about in the next video and it was one of the first books where I actually jumped into the second book right away without without even thinking about it I just downloaded it and went to town and that's Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman I also got the books because I don't think I don't think I'm going to be able to just read these books once and I want to read them with my eyes not just with my ears and uh, look at these covers. Like these are beautiful covers. They're simple, and yet the color schemes are brilliant. I hate this sticker. But what can you do? What can you do? Nothing much. So uh, I, I definitely recommend you checking out these books. They're young adult books, but uh, very well written. And uh, despite them being a young adult books, you know you can feel that they're young adult, but they still have some uh, depth to them that might be lacking in other young adult books. Uh, recently, for the Darkness Dwells podcast, I uh, had the opportunity to interview one of my favorite writers, and that's Steve Rasnick Tem. And to celebrate this, I uh, I went and bought some books of his that have come out recently that I haven't got. I don't have too many books by him. Steve Rasnick Tem is one of those authors that uh, he writes a lot of short stories. Like he's published over 400 short stories that's published not written published you know I have to cheers to that he was an author that I typically if I saw an anthology I would get the anthology just to read his story and I'd read the others too but I see uh, that Steve Rasnick Tem is in there I'm like oh I gotta read that story and so I got this book we talk about this book in the interview I'll put the link below too so that you can check it out. I invite you to please check it out because this is one of my favorites, uh, one of my favorite interviews. Uh, it lasted about an hour, the interview itself, and uh, then me and my co-host, Michael, we uh, talked about the latest Halloween film that came out uh, late 2018, around Halloween time. Back to the books. Got Figures Unseen. Now this book here is a collection of short stories that Steve said during the interview that if anyone was like, uh, uh, what book would you recommend me starting with in reading you? Uh, he said that this book, he he uh, he put the table of contents together for it because he wanted a book to rep that he felt best represented him. So if anybody asked him that question, he could say, here, get this book. I haven't read all of it yet, but there's some stories in here I have read. And I'm looking to, uh, you know, I'm just looking to read it again or the ones that I have again along with the ones I haven't. I'm not a big fan of the print size but that's okay. I also have the audiobook. <laughs> also by Steve Resnick Tem, the reason why I was talking to him it was uh, Kate Jones from Omnium Gatherum uh, Media who contacted me seeing if I wanted to interview any of her authors who are re having releases uh, during January and S Steve Resnick Tem was obviously one of them and uh, they released uh, Everything is Fine Now. And I'm a few stories into this. I'm on page 41 and I've read, they're all pretty short, short stories too, which is, uh, which is good because you can just burn right through them. Wow, in page 41, I never read six stories. It's pretty good. And all the stories have been really fun. And you know, one thing I like about Steve Rasnick Tem is, is fiction tends to make you think about what you're reading. And, uh, and not too many writers can pull that off, but uh, you can tell that Steve Rasnick Tem is very much a, a, a deep thinker, and uh, I like the way he thinks, and that's one reason why I love his fiction so much. If you want to know other reasons why I uh, fanboy this author, uh, check out 
the podcast. And, of course, uh, because of my uh, uh, read-along that I'm scheduling for March the 1st, that's the Wheel of Time. Now, I've had a copy of Wheel of Time that I held up, but that wasn't my copy. That's the library's copy. And so I decided to get my own copy. And, and speaking of library, I decided to get the uh, library bound copy because uh, I explained and I'll post the link to uh, the announcement below. I have a, a, a history with these books. And one reason why I wanted to get this copy was because all my other books have fallen apart. They're just too big and they get read too much and the the cover comes off. But with these little library hardbound books, it's done by a company called uh, Turtleback Books. And it's a hardcover, but it's the same size as the paperback. It's such an awesome little thing. I love it. I'm going to try to get the entire series in this. And there is a, an important announcement. I'm happy to announce that uh, Carla from Carla's Book Bit, she has agreed to also co-host this event. And uh, I'll put her link down there. She should be having an announcement video coming up shortly. So exciting stuff with this. All right, I also got some uh, e-books. As I told you, I uh, tend to always over... I get too many books. I, I can't read all these books. I also got a book of poetry, a book of dark poetry. Um, it's called No Mercy, and I may be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure that it won the Bram Stoker Award. I forget which year, a couple years ago, at least. But uh, it's by uh, Crystal Lake Publishing. I could be wrong on that again, but I'm pretty sure. And it's by an author named Alessandro Manzetti. Now, I've heard a lot of good things about this poetry. And uh, and just opening it up and reading the first poem, I find out that a lot of the poems are actually dedicated to uh, Janis Joplin. So that's interesting. Um, I also got The Lottery and Other Stories by Shirley Jackson. And uh, I got that for the... Uh, uh, the readathon that's happening during the month of February for for the ladies of horror, the ladies of horror, and uh, Hey Little Thrifter, Alex at Over Hey Little Thrifter are hosting for uh, uh, you know the month of February, which is uh, Women in Horror Month, and it's also Black History Month, which is really cool. And last but certainly not least, oh, well, speaking of a person of color, here's uh, something right here. I I got the entire box set, um, the trilogy for uh, Lilith's Brood by Octavia Butler. This was actually a deal. It was like $2, and I've been wanting to read these books for a long time. And I've been wanting to read Octavia Butler for a long time. I just never get around to it. So I saw this uh, uh, on my BookBub notification. I saw that uh, she was releasing the, the entire trilogy for like $1.99. I ate that up. I just, you know, take my money. <laughs> so maybe I'll give one of those a read for February. All right, so that is my uh, my big book haul. It's not that big, I guess, but, you know, spending money. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Um, as I said before, please uh, subscribe, comment, and like. And keep being creative, and we will see you in the very next bookish video.